Good evening, good evening everybody. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we are here in a beautiful Florida enjoying the weather and enjoying our company. We have Bano and my mom are relaxing and I'm just enjoying the nice weather and for some reason mommy we're not getting be eaten. Oh look, I have my lights up. <laughs> Ah, the tiki torch. On, the tiki torch. It's a so today we are cooking mm. on the fireside. We came home not very long ago. Uh, we went out on the boat. We, in, we had a great time on the water. I have so many videos. And also Chef Dev. I have so many videos to share with you guys. He's not here right now with us. He is in a gym. You know, he likes to work out every day for an hour. I like that discipline. I love it. I love it. I need to follow that. So tonight, while he's gone, we'll be cooking some capybara. Capybara is an it's a native animal in South America. We also have it in Guyana, Trinidad, and those places. And it's like a cross between um, Bano was saying, like a rabbit and a rat. <clears throat> capybara is actually the biggest rodent in the world, so it's pretty much the biggest rat. But when you see it or you look at it, it really looks more like a rabbit. And I think they have the pictures. Johnny, you have the pictures of the video? John has I a video. I have the picture here. And I'll show you the video in a second. So this I is what it looks faster. like. Yeah. With its babe, babies. And then here's a video of it swimming. They swim underwater far distances. And you said in South America, like the nickname is Capi? Yeah. Yeah, she said it Capi. <laughs> We just look it up and we learn so much about the capybara. It's a delicacy actually. Yeah. It's a delicacy. It tastes more like pork and it's um, it's more like vegetarian also. In the jungle, it's a lot of fruits, um, greens and right. also bugs and things like that. So in reality, if you want us to put it in a more of a raw form, it's like the biggest rat. <laughs> so that's what we're cooking and we're cooking it casual style. We're using some Pameroon cash rib and so we'll be cooking it cash rib style with some nice green seasoning and also some um, ginger and stuff like that. Yeah. So I had some oil up here. <coughs> and and uh, that's okay. So this is it guys, look at this. Our friends Nazim and Jenny, they actually have given this to us. So thank you, Nazim and Jenny. So, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> He's sorry, I got a hairball. <laughs> I'm like a cat, okay? I'm like a cat. <laughs> it happens to all of us. So this is the capybara and it's seasoned and uh, some delicious, delicious garden seasoning. And um, Chef Dev have never had this and so was Tommy has never had it nor John. I'm not sure, well, I, Bano and this is Auntie Bano, I don't like to say Bano. Okay, Auntie Bano, I, I want to call her Mommy, okay, Mommy Bano. <laughs> um, it's uh, Chef Dev's mom. And she, she, she's vegetarian, so she's out. Mommy, would you try a piece? No, thank you. You don't want to try a piece? Yes, you're going to try. No. People are saying, yes, you must. No. You're not a true cook. <laughs> you're disappointing the Galanese <laughs> culture. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm sure, Tommy, would you tr you're trying it, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. Tommy's trying, and Chef Debbie's looking forward to this. And I'm sure John will try it also. So what I'm going to do, my hands are clean. Uh, we'll put some onions in there, and we we have to cook this in the, on the fire side. We have to. All right. Hmm? I know, right? I love this fire side. Oh, I love this fire side, guys. We put a temporarily fireside out here and it's like my favorite soy. Mm -hmm. And these are some um, some of the green seasoning we're using. Of course, we're going to make it a little spicy. Chef Dev, he loves spicy. And uh, garlic, 
Uh, we have some onions, peppers, some green seasoning, some scallions, and also some thyme. So we'll be adding, uh, of course, garlic. I'll be putting some extra garlic in this. I wanted to go, it, it's so dark so quickly. I wanted to go get um, an allspice leaf and also a cinnamon leaf to put it in there. That'll be great with it. Hey, why don't, while the onion is cooking, let's go ahead and go get it. It'll be a little dark. But it's all good. Let's check it out. Are you for me, Anjali? So guys, this is my cinnamon. This is my cinnamon plant or uh, tree. So I'll just get a couple leaf from it. It will help. This is a wild uh, meat. So it's a stronger taste meat. So I'll when you put like cinnamon leaves or piece of cinnamon a couple of cloves and also um some bay leaves and so on it really enhances the flavor and it just you know it, it, these leaves are made for that kind of meat i feel but anytime i make a strong meat like goat i use things like this so let's go get uh, the bay leaf over here i know it's so dark I'm sorry. ouch get that quick Back. Okay, good, good. I'm glad he's here. I'm glad he's here. So let's get. We're getting some bay leaf right now. I mean, uh, um, allspice. So I think this will be great with this kind of. Um, you want a little bit more of a bold flavor, I feel. Oh, good. I'm glad the chef is here, so that he can um, look at it. Johnny, you have to come and critique this also. Mm -hmm. Where is Johnny? I want you to come and do this. Oh. Tommy, come. Come. Come here, come here. Oh. I'm my Smell it. No, it's all like all spice, isn't that oh, crazy? Yes, it's all oh, spice. Okay, yes. no, do this. This is. Oh my gosh. It is really all spice, eh? This one here is cinnamon. That is all spice. Yes. Amazing. Oh, so how was your workout? Excellent. Necessary. Oh, good. The place good, good. was nice. You said it'd be back. The place was nice. You want more sugar? Which place? The place where yeah. you work out, Jim. I posted somewhere? Yeah. No, that was, yes, that was, uh, that was in Wynwood. Oh, oh, that place oh. is beautiful. Oh. That's in Wynwood, Miami. Oh. My, my poster's there. Okay. So, like, uh, oh. one thing is people don't know where I am. Oh. The first one is I love. He's telling you secrets. Okay. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna be as simple as you can get. So right. since you're here, I'm just doing onions right now, and these are Look some. At this. Holy. And guess what? This is. Capybara. This is a capybara. It's your first time trying. Smell like bush. And uh, so. So I put a cin some cinnamon leaves and some of the bay leaf in there. I feel it. I feel it'll be good with this kind of meat. Yeah, cinnamon, clove, and those gamey meats. Yes, These yes. These earthy, heavy spice. Um, did they help you chip chip up and so? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> I know she couldn't stop. No, I she the whole no, house. I taught her very well. <laughs> good boy. How was your workout? Excellent. So you work out everywhere you go. That's amazing. For my mental health. I love it, that discipline, that, that's amazing, because yeah, I think it, it's a hard work to do that. On the cruise, we worked out every single day. Wow. Every day. And then I eat pizza the whole day. But that's hard work, just the dis discipline yeah, of it. Yeah. I admire the discipline of it. Gotta do it. So, I'm gonna, you want to make it a little spicy? Yeah, and I'm just going to change my shirt and then join you. Okay, I'll okay. Wash my hands. Okay. So, I put a little extra pepper in there. Check out these peppers that I bought. Just uh, he likes things spicy, so nice, nice. So add a little bit of a little bit of this uh, chili peppers in there. Let's check it out. What'd you say? Garlic. <laughs> awesome. I love it. So I'll just throw some extra pepper in there. I love these songs. 
Oh my goodness, I love these songs. We have some Indian tune in the background. Yeah. And it's a uh, it's nice old song, right? Oh, she's gone? Okay. Nice old song and I love it. I'll put a little, uh, let me put a little bit of seasoning here, guys. Look, this is some uh, green seasoning that I smoked. And uh, has ginger, turmeric, celery, shadow benny, and uh, pepper. We'll put some of that in here. Okay. Man, I want to cook. I want. I've never made this in my life. This is the first time. Thank you, Nazim and Jenny, for giving me some of this amazing capybara meat. And um, I've never eaten. I've eaten it before, but never cooked it. So I'm so excited. I call the chef. I say, Hey, uh, uh, what would you like? You like it curried or you like it uh, like a cash rib style? It says cash rib style. So that's how I'm cooking this. Okay. Yeah, that's what I meant, the bowl. Okay, guys. So now, uh, and check out my pack of seasoning in there. My, I have it all in there. I have it all, the green seasoning and all that good stuff. Some nice scallions. So I'm going to put the capybara in here now. Look at that, look at that. And again, the, the says, um, well, it tastes more like pork for my international friends. For the texture of this animal, that's what it tastes more like. It's like a lean pork because there's not a single fat in it. <laughs> So what I'm going to also put in here, I'll be putting in a couple cloves. I just like that bowl flavor in there. When you do wild meats, you don't want that kind of flavor in there. So I'll put a couple cloves. I know it's a little hard maybe for you to see. I'll put a star anise. And I'm also going to put a piece of cinnamon. Just a few. Not too much. You don't want to overwhelm the flavors. Mm. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Not bad, no. Come in this way. And uh, magic. I'll put in the magic, the cash rip. And this is a byproduct of the cassava. It's a byproduct of cassava. And it's um, it's a sauce. It's in Guyana. It's a sauce that makes the the um the um the pepper pot, which is the national dish. And it's from the Amerindian. So it's made with cassava, and it's. It's not the regular yucca or cassava, it's actually the bitter cassava that they boil it down to this consistency that is so dark, that molasses thickness, so it's sweet and dark. And it flavor meats and foods really, really well. And I use it more like the Guyanese, I use it more in pepper pots. But I use it in everything. I put it in chow mein's. I use it in chickens, yeah. when you're doing pot roast, cook up rice, cook up rice. Yeah. so I use the cashew in everything. <clears throat> I'm putting a little bit, I don't want to, I don't want to take away the taste of the meat. So I'm going to put a little bit just for color and sweetness. Look at that. Man, this is good. It's like when you're trying, when you're creating something for the first time, thoughts are coming in your head. What should you put? Like what you should you put? And that's how I'm putting out of stuff. It's like, oh, I, you know what? This will taste good with this. Or... Yes. I 
I'm just putting some um, leafy greens uh, around me. So just some leafy greens uh, seasoning. And some scallions. And I'll just let it cook on a slow heat. I'm also going to put some thyme. I'm just trying to put flavors from the garden. I mean, nothing can go wrong with these, um, you know, simple, fresh. You cannot go wrong cooking with fresh ingredients. There's no way to go wrong. It will come, the combination of fresh ingredients, about, you know, here, here and there, it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. So I'm going to just stir this up. And let it cook. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but I know with all these ingredients we're putting in in here, it will be, it will be great. It's such a nice day. Such a nice day, right? Yeah. And mommy's not as cold as yesterday. Last night. Last night it was a little bit more chilly being out here. Nice and <sighs> I'll go get a lid for this, so I'll let this cook. We also have so I will be cooking some sada roti on the fireside here. And are you okay, John? Oh, okay. Um, so we'll be cooking some sada roti. We'll be doing a lot of cooking and a lot of videoing tonight. So thanks again for being here. Uh, I will just let this cook here um, and uh, until tenderizing. Like you can see, look, it's natural water is coming out. Um, I can't remember if I had more before. Wasn't that a rounding? Hmm? Not a rounding. No, no, no. That's okay. I'll add salt later. Boy, this looks uh, very soft though. When I'm looking at it, come see. It's crazy like how tender it's looking. Already and it's, you know, it's just take, bringing out its own water. See, like it's, like yeah, it's tender. It, it doesn't look like, um, like lamb or... Yes, I know it's sharp. It, it's like, like that. that's why they say you know pork is more of a fatty thing, but this is not fatty when you look at the meat. It's very lean because it selects its protein. It has to be very good things for itself. It only eats good things, so its protein and the meat's consistency is and much uh, it's healthier. It doesn't need that fat. Exactly. But it's not great. Look at it like I'm like a little kid looking at it. You know, it's like looking at something for the first time. You, have you cooked it before, Sandy? No. Interesting. I'm just going with a plan. Or, it like looks to, good. <laughs> it looks good. I'm just making up something. That the it only way good. I can tell is like you can, yeah. like a jira, like just with jira and seasoning, yeah. or like with a curry and seasoning, or the cast rib. I can't think of another way. Guys, let us know if you ever had the capybara, and let us know your favorite ways to um, eat it. Yes. And if you've ever eaten it and what you think about it, let us know about this, okay? This is so look. I, I have to go up and get a little salt. I don't okay. have any salt. Sister Bala gonna go. Mommy, no way this salt is. It's a pink salt. So you look for a little pink. So this is a cup of bar. But look how it looks. Look. Look at it. It looks like um you know they say like it tastes like pork and so on. Look like pork, look like goat. But it, it looks like tender, you know what I mean? I'm, I've never cooked it. I've never made it in my life. That's why I ask you, the only three ways that like, I think in my head that it tastes good is <coughs> like a jeera, right. like just jeera and seasoning, or like a cash rip or curry uh -huh. and masala. So I'm glad that this is going to be new. <laughs> Yo, here with Sandy, the famous Sandy from Sandy's Backyard Kitchen. Check out the mise en place. And Sandy, what are we making here? We're making the capybara. And what is that? 
That is, it's a tropical animal live in South America. It, it weighs about 40 pounds and it looks like a cross between a rat and a rabbit. Look at the fur and in his hair. So they call it like a large rodent, right? Yes, it's the biggest rat. The not, nickname. And it's not lava, it's, it's bigger. Yes, it's about, it grows up to 40 pounds, like about 40 pounds. You can turn this for me. Yes. Thank you so much. And you put cinnamon from the garden, we get thyme, you have your masala, your onion, your garlic. What's this paste you made here? Oh my goodness, this is my, this is my seasoning that I smoked. Smell it. What? It, and s smell it. Holy. It's turmeric, ginger, celery, shadow benny, garlic, pepper. So I mix all that together and then I smoke it. Amazing. Mm. 59 seconds or something. Your sous chef's like they're tired over there. Long day, <laughs> long day in the boat. <laughs> and they're 21st century ladies. They're all on their phones. <laughs> Just now you need a pot to wash. Oh, I'll put some salt. Capybara, holy. And it's, it's, it says it tastes, uh, I had this a long time ago. Tell you the truth, I can't really remember what it tastes like. But it says it tastes more like pork. Right. Look porky. Mm -hmm. Here, you want to taste some of the seasoning? All the bacteria is kind of burned out already. Because uh, he's been cooking here for a while. yes. Kazrup? Yeah. Yeah, taste Kazrup. That's what I, I thought, that's what I, we, we, we thought that you wanted a Kazrup flavor. Definitely. Okay. That's what I taste there. Um, masala comes through. It's sweet, bitter bitter from the casserole, um, herbaceous, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, cinnamon thyme, mm -hmm. and it's spicy, which I love. So, so a lot of big flavor there. We'll be putting a little bit more like green seasoning and so on at the end. To but, finish. Yes, but that's pretty much it. It needs any more salt? I don't think so, okay. and I like a lot of salt. Okay, okay. May I wrap up a eggplant to cook it on the stove? Yo. Mm-hmm. Uh. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> buy one buy. No, yes, you said bygone. Say bygone, Johnny. Bygone. Bygone. Like by, let bygone? bygones be bygone. Yeah, that's how I'm going to remember <laughs> Bygone. Bygone. We actually have that to roast. If we're going to do it tomorrow or so in the morning <laughs> for breakfast. So we have sad roti to cook. We have leftovers from yesterday and this. Cool. So I have the sad roti. I can put this on the other side and we can cook the sad roti. You want to do that? That sounds great. And then I have all the ingredients ready for later cooking. Sounds great. So I this is get... fun. Like I've never made this before. I'm looking at it and like reading what it looks like as it cooking, you know. So you're using your cooking experience with other meats. Yes. To uh, And you're applying that to here and adding the cinnamon. So you're looking now to see if it's tender. Mm -hmm. Is it tender? No, no. So I'm gonna just cover it and let it cook. It's gonna might take a little while. That's where we started the process. Would you? Hmm? How do you tell if it's tender? Well, you just like kind of poke it and I kind of go through a little bit to kind of push back. It kind of tell you it's tender so by looking at it. How would you know, like, to not not add a little bit of boiling water to this, a splash? Oh yes, I will. You will. I, okay. um, I'm letting like the natural juice cook down and then add a little water. Throw back water. Throw back water. <laughs> what? Throw back water. <laughs> <laughs> Any fun comments in there? Um, no, I not on this phone. Oh, okay, no problem. Well, maybe I can see. Yeah, yeah for some yeah. reason the comments oh, are yeah, popping up. Read out some of them because for some reason this one uh, here. My phone's not playing nice. So, mm, any more pepper or anything? I wasn't sure how spicy it is. You can is. leave it and whoever wants to add more pepper, they can do that. Okay, okay. But I put some chili peppers and some habaneros. Cool. That sounds great. I put some of those chilies in there. So this is live. It might give some feedback though. Oh yeah, it's got a delay. Ah, need. Need some water to let it. It's a rodent of South America. <laughs> Where does chef cook in Toronto? Love to see two chefs together. Can only go back so far. That's because wherever you started. So someone someone asked me there, uh, where do I cook in Toronto? I'm a private chef. Uh, I just got off a Carnival cruise ship where I was doing some fun activations with them. I brought 30-something people. 
Um, I'm taking off soon to Asia to take over a restaurant for two weeks. I did it a few years ago. Um, I film City Line. I do lots of private events. I cook around the world. I cook in Turks and Caicos. I do a lot of brand partnerships. I have the soups and sauces in the grocery stores. Cookbooks coming April and, next year. Oh, and tell all the Canadian, for all our Canadian friends, guys, he's from Canada. So all these uh, sauces and things he's talking about is actually is selling right now in Canada, and he's working on getting it to the United States. Well, tell them where and which store. Just Soup and Just Sauce is the brand. I just launched Butter Chicken Sauce, and I have two new soups coming in March. If you're in Ontario, I they're located at Longo's and Fortino's and Loblaws. And if you're anywhere in Canada, you can find some of our products at Sobeys, Sobeys Nationwide. So this is pretty exciting, Capybara. I've only heard of this. I've never had an opportunity to try this. Um, I think Sandy's going to go get some water. You see that bubbling up there? Do we know what that is? Because I know what it is. What would cause it to bubble? I can't see the answers. Do you have still have yours on? As long as you left your phone on, you'll see the answers. Oh, okay, cool. Well, we have some like very thick bubbling there, and it looks like sugar, right? It looks like honey. It's the casrip. It's the casrip that's causing it to bubble up that way, those really small bubbles that are there. We don't want this to burn, so we give it a little bit of a toss. And uh, man, this looks good. Tajos, Tajo says, hello, chef. Have a great day. Gino says, hello, Sandy and everyone. Yes, he's a great chef. Ha! Huh. Savvy says... Um, something makes it bubble. Something? She just said it makes it bubble. <laughs> yeah, Kazrip. It's the Kaz. Uh, Lola says, I just started following you on TikTok. Me? Sandy. Yeah, uh, so, no, Solo said she started following you on TikTok. Yeah. And they're saying, yes, the sugar's making that. And it's um, from the Kazrip, says Margo. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm more active on Instagram. So TikTok, we do have some action over there. Uh, okay. But the, the meteor... <laughs> The media content is on Instagram for sure. I, I put most of the focus into Instagram. Uh, Jennifer says she loves your cooking. Uh, Belle says that's the career build bubbling. <laughs> that's the what, sorry? The career bubbling. <laughs> your career bubbling, get it? Your career building up. <laughs> I love it. Uh, love Chef Dev and Sandy watching you guys. I made the same dish tonight. Wow, Savvy made the same dish. Awesome, Sammy. Savvy Basun. We love Savvy. Uh, Lola, what is the IG? Oh, Chef Devin. Chef D E V A N. Chef C H E F D E V A N. There's tons of content, tons of recipes. Too much to even go through now. So we'll take a look at a lot more coming all the time. All right. Water. I mean, ready to some a little bit of water. I, it's pretty cooked down. You want to try a piece? I know it might. It's not a standard, but it, it's cooked through, as in no bacteria and so on. Mm. Or you want to wait it like fully cooked? Let's let, let it fully cook. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's do I'll that. Some, some Varsha food. says, "I love to see two of my favorite chefs together." That's sweet. That's uh, very sweet. Uh, Debbie, Debbie's, well, actually, Debbie's looking in from Trinidad and Tobago. Says so she's really enjoying this. I love you guys. Um, from That's Parish, nice. Florida, we have uh, Uma. Sandy, we have an opportunity to teach someone something here. So we're cooking on a fireside, right? We are not able to turn a dial. You're probably cooking in your home. You turn a dial. Now, let's say we wanted to get this to you know, a much hotter temperature. What are we going to do? How do we make this hotter? Oh, the temperature? Yeah. Okay. We'll close Tell it up. Me. So you, Box you, it what off. would you do? Like if you had to make this hotter, what would you do? Oh, the, as in the fire here? How do you make more fire? Add wood. I would put more wood? Exactly. Okay. And if you needed to bring the temperature down, like let's say you wanted this to simmer, you would right. take out the we wood. We should get anti-mic down. She thought <laughs> there was, it sounded like you had a trick question coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought no, you had no, like no, a no, trick no, question. No, 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 show them. A lot of people I watching, uh, I guarantee you there are people watching who have never cooked on open flame on fireside before, ever. Wait, so Sandy's, it's a question. It's a common question that people Sandy's would have. going to show you how her friend Chris in Central Florida says, turn up the heat. Show her how he says, you oh, turn yeah. up the heat. Watch, this is how you turn the heat You up. turn up the heat. You, you, you turn you, the log. Yeah. There you go. Turn it up. Turn, turn and then down. you turn on the heat. <laughs> yeah. You turn up the heat. There you go. 
And then you turn on the that, heat to take it out. <laughs> There's a degree, that's how you turn that. I'm heat. sure. I'm sure that's a question that someone might have, right? Like, how do you control the temperature? What if the flame gets too hot? Yeah. Always remember, now that the flame is, is becoming more aggressive, we can always pull this off yes. to the side. And even if you need to pull it off, you totally can, right? Mm -hmm. But we're gonna we're adding water, so we want it nice and hot. Hey, okay. what's going on there, sir? I have a garlic that I a whole head of garlic. I'm gonna just ah. squeeze into this corner here. You can put it up here if you want. Okay. To like, there's room? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The flames goes over there. And you're going to want to rotate that, right? Yeah, and we'll rotate it every five, seven minutes because <laughs> of the high heat. And this is a... Uh, what type of eggplant? Do, don't tell them. Um, I mean, um, oh, what type of eggplant? Dominican. Dominican. Oh, yeah. And what do you call them? <laughs> you just wonder what it is. I forgot already. Let bygones be bygones. 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 <laughs> So we'll put the iPad right on the fire coals. This is how grand to top me. You're gonna want to push it right in because this side won't cook. Okay. Yeah. Well, get it right in there. There we go. Jeez, Jenny. I'll get a I'll get a tongs, everybody. We won't put our hands in there. Oh, I can smell that. So you smell that? The cashew starting to get like sweeter. You well, it was that? actually bubbling, right? So I, I told them that that, that, that is the cashew. Um, just put a little water. So we're doing this to let it braise now, right? Now we're going to let this braise. We need the spoon. Give it a little toss. R right. So he all feel like he's at home <laughs> mm. cooking. I give him the pot so he feels like he's cooking. Yeah, and you all clean the sides, right? Well, yes. the, uh, Sharon's yeah. asking about how our lobster is. How did you do with lobster? Did you get any? Uh, you got one, <laughs> and let me hold it, but it was a little small. I did see quite a few, right? We have um, we have some videos we will share with you. I did see quite a few. Um, you see their antennas there, but they're a little bit too tentacles, small. Tentacles, tentacles, tentacles. Tentacles, not antennas. <laughs> Uh, Michelle says, I used Chef Dave's fried rice recipe. He oh, no did way. a real That's butt, cool. tweaked it a little bit. Good. Um, with baby scallions, dried man, dried Mary man, seasoning from Guyana, etc., and made it my own brand. <laughs> That's oh, what I want to hear. I always I tell it. people, don't be handcuffed to the recipe, right? Use what you have in your fridge. Use inspiration from what you like. You sound like good. Sandy. That's her beliefs. All right. So this is looking really good. That garlic, oh, that garlic got splashed, that's okay. All right, good. So I'll just cover it, I think I brought a big one, but that's good. I'll just cover this. And uh, what I have here now, we'll do some roti, some sada roti. I, um, as you can see there. Yeah, I'm just watching him clap. Oh, yeah. I figure we have pumpkin and we have that um, chicken. Oh, you don't put too much flour. I've never made sad roti. We pretty much just, uh, you want to grab some of this? You just went and wash up. Wash up here. Do, do some of these rolling things. The lois? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, make lois. <laughs> well, how do you say mommy bye? How are you gonna make Lloyd? Let me let me let me show you the tape on that. She's gonna give you a hard time now, man. Yeah. Let me show you that. Okay. Well me hand clean too. Let me let me show you. Everybody's oh. in it now. Miss Potato, I guess, right? Uh huh. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's the move. See? That's how I do it. Yeah. That's my way. Then you put it like this and dock it there. See? Mine's a little smaller, but nice. Yeah. <laughs> a little smaller, but mm -hmm. cute. Mm -hmm. So, when you roll them, you make like this. Make like this, make like that. <laughs> I'll make two bigger ones. How's that garlic there, bro? Good, good. I'm looking for 
worst thing. This is how my auntie, uh, this is auntie, um, you know who taught us this, right? Uh, um, daddy sister, man, I can't, auntie Chano. Auntie Chano. Chano. Mm -hmm. She used to be, you know who she used to say, she used to do make bread at the, um. You do college? No, Lee Baker Shop. Lee Baker Shop back in the days. Oh. Yes, so she used to do There's that. There's an auntie Chano as well, she used to do, do college. Mm hmm People don't know how much they, your mom learns from you. So I'm so glad, guys, we have a Canadians in the house. You got a wow. That one. <laughs> Of course, Mother got hey, to Chef Dave, you gotta do some of these, these songs. I don't know them. This is Rolla Picasso. Yeah. That's the name of the song. Yeah. Sandy, yeah. Someone no, I'm saying, you got that? Sandy, here, uh, sister. Someone said, right of here. course, Mother nice. got to put your hand. So I <laughs> yeah, she can't sit still. She gotta get over there and touch it. Take credit. <laughs> Sharon, Sharon Ali. Hey, Johnny, can you go grab me and take this away? Because it says, um, bacteria wash it and get me a clean thing. Chef. John oh. said, what do you mean to Guyana? Salmonella does not exist there. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? No. <laughs> yeah. No, bro. There you, you cook something, you eat up all day, all night. And you never get sick? No. Well, you have the bacteria. It kind of, you kind of born with that bacteria and you, oh, you have a sorting bacteria in your colon. Yeah, that John. helps protect Let you. On, you cook yeah. three o'clock in the morning. You never get to the afternoon, five o'clock and you eat the same food. Yeah, exactly. It tastes better. Yeah. <laughs> you come this afternoon, you come out, you're not the fridge. Look, you're turning the dial. Yeah. <laughs> you're right, Mom. Mm -hmm. um, it was funny because when I went there, they had the freezer with the chicken who opened in the freezer. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I was like, well, salmonella doesn't exist here, I guess. Mm. Turn that bygone. I just did. Bygone. Bygone. Capybara. What is capybara saying? They're asking. A capybara, it's a South American wild animal, and um, it's also called capi, and uh, it's it grows up to 40 pounds, and it's a wild meat, so it's a choir taste, and very unique. It tastes more like pork, and I had it once when I was little, and I can't really remember the taste. This is the first time I'm actually cooking it, I'm making it a cash rip style. It's bush meat. Bush meat. <laughs> wild meat, bush meat. <laughs> you know, I was at Bimichi Eco Lodge in Guyana filming with Stacy from Visit Guyana. We have the YouTube video coming out soon, but we were there with the Amerindians uh -huh. and they showed us the trap, uh, the arrow that they set with the trap to catch lava. Uh -huh. And it was really low to the ground, it was only a foot off the ground. And, and when the lava trips it up, it, it shot the, uh, the arrow, it was pretty cool. And they would put mangoes, they would put um, the awara, the, um, awara the kuru, so they would put those things. Because I to used bait to them? No, they will just put that and like, yes, to bait them. I thought too big, sorry. Uh, but I used to live in interior, so we will go out with trappers <coughs> and do these things. Oh, wow. We'll catch the tegu and, and so on. Like all the uh, wild animals, anything that actually is moving, we will try and eat it. You did so much. I did, I, I have so much to share. You got to write a book. I'm going to. Sandy's My dad wrote book. a book. We need a good book person. <laughs> His dad started to write a book. Sandy, is it, this is like wild tattoo? No, no, it's a capybara, so it's different. It's a cross between um, a rat and um, <laughs> and um, a rabbit. Hey, John, can you look it up again, somebody, sure so we can show? But let me tell you, it's kind of cute. I kind of when we start to learn about it, I, I kind of feel, you know, oh jeez. But <laughs> the thing is, it's good eating. You know, it's a good flavor. It's very popular in South America, in Guyana, in Trinidad. Here's a video of it swimming, so you'll see it. Uh, coming in they literally run on the ground with their uh, see so that's them right there and i sh show chef and the picture yeah it looks so cute <laughs> <laughs> so you the, want to get the other fire going for this the caption do you want to swim look. with him looking really good check out the casrip that was used in this i have a really cool casrip video coming soon from georgetown keep an eye out this is going to get real soft. 
Mm-hmm. How's your garlic here, boss Johnny, man? bring me a uh, couple of plates, sure. couple of plates. Okay. Let, let me go about up there. Oh, actually, I'll use it. I'll use, I'll use this thing. Okay. Are you sure? I can go yes. get it for you. I'm good, I'm good. Okay. Mm. Mm. Well, actually, we have to light okay. somewhere else to, to go ahead and cook the saddle roti. Okay. So maybe we'll hang up and we'll come back. Okay. So thank you all, guys. I will come right back. We'll light up the other side of the fire side and we'll cook that roti. Okay. Same I'm hungry. <laughs> and so we have the roti, we have the chicken, uh, we have we the pumpkin. Some, you said not to cook. You want me to cook? I have a baji. You want me to put in some baji real quickly? We have plenty of food. Okay. I, I don't think there's enough. Oh, we have shrimp curry too. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, goodbye. Oh, awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. So see you later. And, and again, let us know your thoughts on the capybara. And let us know if you've ever had it and how you like to prepare it.